Welcome, today I'm looking at the Cooler Master Master Liquid Pro 240 All-in-One Liquid Cooler. This basically is Cooler Master's new approach on liquid cooling with a new technology and a completely new design. As you may know, I've already tested their Neptune 240M and was especially impressed by how silent it was. However, I'd like to see a bit more cooling performance. So I'm really excited to see how well this new Master Liquid Pro 240 does. It comes in at a price of about 120 US dollars. Big thanks go out to Cooler Master for sending Sending me this liquid cooler to review. In a box we're getting the Master Liquid Pro 240 itself, the two 120mm fans, a Y cable for the fans, a rubber gasket to reduce vibration noise, then of course the backplate, bracket screws, thermal paste and whatnot, but unfortunately it seems one fan screw is missing here, as you can see for my review sample. But no problem, I should have plenty of fitting ones somewhere. And last but not least, warranty information and the installation guide. The Master Liquid Pro 240 features a nice new good looking aluminum radiator with dimensions of 275 by 118.5 by 27 millimeters. Cooler Master decided to go for a very beautiful angular 240 millimeter radiator with a matte black paint finish to it. Part of the new so-called flow up technology is the square fin design that apparently should allow for better airflow. This also means quieter fans can be used to achieve the same performance as with standard fin designs. Included are a pair of 120 millimeter fans. To be exact, Cooler Master's new Master Fan Pro 120 air balance fans that spin at about 650 to 2000 rpm come in at an impressive noise level of 6 to 30 decibels and allow for an airflow of up to 66.7 cfm at max the cables are nylon sleeved 358 mm long high quality FEP tubing is used here, which according to Cooler Master should last longer than rubber. The tube diameter is 8 mm. The tubes can be adjusted in angle on the pump, even though that does require some force. The pump unit is really heavy, has been completely redesigned, both when it comes down to the aesthetics as well as technology. I really happen to like the pump design here, it lights up blue and most importantly, comes with serious improvements over the previous generation. For one, the heat dissipation thanks to the increased surface surface area in the water block is much better since the pump now basically sprays liquid directly at the center of the water block, therefore solving any slow flow issues. Besides, more and finer fins can be mounted on the copper base, leading to even more surface for heat dissipation. Additionally, now that there's an extra chamber stacked on top, cold can go in but heat can't go back up. And in that upper chamber, that's where the vital components sit. Therefore, the life expectancy of the pump is very high, rated at 175,000 hours. The pump is powered up by the 4-pin PWM connector and has a speed of 1,100 to 3,300 RPM. The noise level should be below 12 decibels. The fans plug into the included Y cable and are connected to one of the motherboard's fan headers. The latest CPU sockets are supported, of course, such as Intel's LJ1151 and 2011, as well as AMD these AM3 Plus and FM2 Plus. The Master Liquid Pro 240 in terms of aesthetics looks completely different compared to Cooler Master's previous Neptune 240M I've tested. I find the looks to be really appealing here, it's a good blend of minimalism and a more aggressive design. The installation of this AIO unit was hassle free and it doesn't take very long. All the crucial parts are out of metal and the quality is top notch here. With the system turned on, the pump lights up blue at the top and even comes with a blue LED ring a bit further down. This also makes up for a very cool impression. In terms of looks, this is the nicest looking pump unit on an AIO unit I've seen so far. But now let's put it to the test and see how it actually performs. So the new Master Liquid Pro 240 definitely performs better than Cooler Master's previous generation Neptune 240M. Not only does it offer more cooling performance, but runs much quieter at the same time and keep in mind, I do consider the Neptune 240M to be one of the quietest AIO units overall. This for me officially makes the Master Liquid Pro 240 the quietest all-in-one liquid cooler I've tested so far. The fans themselves hardly produce any noise and same goes for the pump. However, when it comes to raw cooling performance, the Master Liquid 
Cockpit Pro 240 can compete with the powerful Cryorg A40 Ultimate and A80 or Arctex Liquid Freezer 240. That however does not mean it doesn't perform. In my test it's only a little behind Corsair's H105. So to basically sum things up, while the Cooler Master Master Liquid Pro 240 does a very good job at cooling hot running overclocked CPUs, it doesn't do as well as some models of the competition. Where this specific liquid cooler without any doubt manages to take the crown is noise level. It's definitely the quietest one of all the AIO units I've tested so far, therefore the ideal choice for those of you looking for a quiet yet overall powerful CPU cooler. Another thing to factor in is the aesthetic appeal. While that's completely a matter of taste, I have to give Cooler Master props here for their fascinating design. From the radiator to the pump unit, especially the pump that lights up very nicely, all in all looks great in one system. Currently priced at about $120, the price performance ratio certainly is not the best here, but we can for sure count on quality and longevity. I can definitely recommend the Cooler Master Master Liquid Pro 240 Liquid Cooler. It's getting my silver award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.